Let's go ahead and install Docker. We'll do sudo apt update just to get the latest packages. Then we'll do sudo apt install dash y for yes, docker.io. At this point, the Docker system is started, but not enabled. If you want to enable Docker to start automatically after a reboot, which won't be the case by default, you can type in this command of systemctl enable docker dash dash now. Now the last step is to add our non-root user to the Docker group so that we can use Docker without having to type in sudo. And at this point, we're going to need to reload our settings so that this permissions change applies. The best way to reload permissions is to log out and back in again. If you don't want to do that for whatever reason, there is a workaround that will temporarily help you, which is to type in new group docker. But if that plus logging in and out doesn't work, I would try to reboot the system because otherwise you may find that other terminal windows haven't reloaded settings. And so you may get a permission denied error. So with Docker installed, we can now pull in different environments as we need them without having to install any other software for those environments. It's all self-contained, which is really practical. For example, if we want to run the Dam Vulnerable Web Application, or DVWA for short, we can do that with this simple command of docker run dash dash rm dash it dash p at port 8080 vulnerables slash web dash DVWA. If that doesn't work, sometimes people say it doesn't work, try running this command first of docker pull vulnerables slash web DVWA and then rerun that same docker run command that we just saw. You will have to wait until it downloads the needed images and layers and then starts the container. And after that, it will show you the Apache access logs so you can see requests going through the web server. You can navigate to 127.0.0.1 in your browser in order to access the web application. It will ask you to log in initially and you can use the username admin and the password of password and then you will be redirected to a setup.php page where you can check configurations and then create the database. It should automatically redirect you to log in again, but if it doesn't, just scroll down to the bottom and click on login in order to re-log in using admin and password. Please note that you will have to do these quick steps every single time that you take down the environment and bring it back up again. So if you take a break from the course, for example, and then come back later after shutting down the environment, you will have to use the docker run command again. So I would jot it down for easier access. And if you want to manually shut down the environment, you can go back to the terminal window where we started the container, and then you can use control C on Windows or command C on Mac in order to get your terminal window back, as well as terminate the Docker environment.